after the Vert2 and uh, you know, on-off play technology, let's talk about the Intel Smart Response technology. Okay, as you can see now, we have connected one uh, to two, two storage device. The first one is uh, you know, the one terabyte uh, drive, and the second one is uh, Intel, you know, Lawson Creek 20 gigabyte SSD. Okay, so now you can see in my computer, we have two, two drives here, and later I will show you the you know, performance difference after we en enable the smart response. Okay, so now we, are, we start to run in the, you know, the PC Mark 05. This is before we enable the you know, um, <coughs> smart response technology. Okay, now you can see before we enable the smart response technology with a pure hard drive, we're running the PC Mark 05. We got the hard hard drive score. It's around 9,100. Okay, let's check out after enable the smart response, and then we, what kind of score we can get. Check this out. Okay, here we're in the Intel Rapid Storage Technology UI. So now we're going to enable the acceleration for the rapid storage for the smart response technology. Okay. Okay, now you can see that the SSD right now is become the cache of the hard drive. So you can see in my, my computer, now you can see only one hard disk here because the SSD is already become the, you know, the cache of the hard drive as I mentioned before. Okay, let's check out the performance improved by the smart response technology. So we're going to run this same software, the PC Mark 05, and let's see the result. Let's see the final result. After enabling the Intel Smart Response technology, the PC Mic 05 hard drive score jumps to 29,000. Okay, so it almost, you know, 300%, it's over 300%, you know, performance speed faster. So it's really cool. We also do another test to to prove the smart response performance. That is the system boot up time. Okay, now we just disconnect the Lassen Creek SSD from the system. So now there is only one terabyte SOLID 3 hard drive connected to this system. Okay, now let's see how long it will take to boot up the system from the you know the, when we press the power button to enter into the OS just with uh, you know the normal SOLID 3 hard drive. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now it takes 44 seconds to boot up the OS, boot up the system. Okay, now let's set up the smart response to make the, you know, let's connect the SSD into this system and enable the acceleration of the smart response and let's see what happened. Okay, here you can see that we connect the Intel SSD, Lasting Creek here, and then we just enable the smart response, and let's see how fast the boot up, boot up time can improve. Okay, now you can see that after we en enable the smart response, it takes only 34 to 35 seconds to finish the boot up. So it definitely improved the system boot up time. Okay, besides the above nice features, Ezra Z68 Extreme 4 can also provide a nice USB boost speed. We call that the hottest Ezra X fast USB. 
okay? On this memoir, when we compare it to other Z, Z68 motherboard without x fast USB, that's what Z68 Extreme 4 can get 185% boost up for the USB 3 performance, okay? So, what are you guys waiting for? These SRock Z68 motherboards are on the shelf right now. So go and buy it. Hey, wait, 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 wait. There's another exciting news just happened yesterday. Do you know what? The Intom's hardware Z68 motherboard, 200 USD dollars round up. The SRock Z68 Extreme 4 just beat ASUS and Gigabyte Z68 motherboards and got the Tom's Hardware 2011 Recommended Buy Award. So, are you going to buy the Z68 motherboard? What are you guys waiting for? The SRock Z68 motherboard series, your best choice.